Kittis Russell here again. I'm going to show you how to get in and edit a patch in the Roland GR55 guitar synthesizer. So I've got a patch that I have created and I've been using for the last couple weeks. I'm a praise and worship leader and uh, this has been a pretty cool patch. It's got four different sounds on it and uh, I'm going to just dig in here and show you how I created the sound that I have. But let me play a little bit for you first real quick. So here we go. So let's get in here and show you how I created that patch. All right, so basically if I go into this, the edit mode of here, I've got this, uh, this patch here. There are four different sounds. I've got a soft pad, rezo bass, electric guitar, which is a Rickenbacker, and my normal pickup on my, my guitar. Now I'm playing a go to next TSA, and it has a piezo pickup that can sound like an acoustic guitar as well as electric pickups. So uh, if you're wondering why it sounds more acoustic, that's what it is. Now I'm gonna go back out here. I'm gonna show you how to wipe a patch clean. So we're gonna go to 052. We're gonna go to this right button. Go all the way over to initialize these tabs up here. Uh, anytime you wanna move to another tab, you gotta use the page button. We're gonna page over to initialize, hit right again. And now when we go into this, it's a wiped clean patch. Our first sound in our patch was the PCM1, and that was number 613, the soft pad one. So you, there's a couple different ways that you can get to the sounds. If I go through this scroll wheel right here, I can scroll like this, and, and it'll go by in order of category, or if I hit the over button, it's gonna go to the next category. So I'm gonna just kind of hold this down and get the six. 13. All right. And okay, so this was what soft pad one, this is what this sound sounds like. Here we go. Okay. And I'm going to just go ahead and, and increase the volume of that real quick. If I go over to my tone level, I'm going to pull it up to, let's say, I think 69 is what I had it on. Okay, um, now a couple things that you can do with this. Uh, there's another layer of, if you go to the right here, you're still within the tone uh, tab up top here. Eventually we'll get to effects and master and system, but this tone tab up here is, if you click over to the right again, there's a couple more functions that you can do. Um, for instance, I'm going to pull the attack way down because I basically want as soon as I touch it, my, the string to play. Now, if you notice, there's a couple pitches that are, as I am stopping to play, you kind of hear some missed notes. What we're going to do is we're actually going to, from now on, go into this, this edit mode here. This isn't the only way you can get into edit. There's a deeper one, which if, if you're selected on whatever patch you or whatever sound you want, hit enter. And that's going to take you deeper into the edit mode. And so we can see we already have the same, the pad there. And you can actually change the pad sounds in here as well. Um, we made that volume adjustment, the level, and it's still at 69 right there. But to get rid of that, that um, those pitches from being off is you want to click on chromatic. And what that's going to do is it's not going to allow any pitches that are not right in tune to, to sound. So like now when I'm playing. So let me do that one more time with it off. because you know, as you're pulling your fingers off, 
you know, for a split second, split second, you have another note happening, another pitch happening, but with the chromatic on, it's not gonna do that. You know, I'll give you another example here. If I were to, you know, bend a note, the synth is gonna bend with it, but with chromatic on, See, I bent it up, but it didn't change notes until it actually hit a new pitch. So hopefully that explains that a little bit better to you. So, so far I have yet to use it with, with chromatic off. I, I have chromatic on, on almost everything. So let's go back out. That is our PCM1 sound, that soft pad. Okay, now we're gonna go to our PCM2 sound. Okay, so I'm gonna come down here and actually let me turn this guy off first. Put him on. This over here, when you fill in that square, it enables that that sound. Okay, so the next one that I had on was Rezo Bass, which was 269. Nope, I'm sorry, 296. Okay, now this sound. You may be thinking, you did not play that sound. I didn't hear that at all in there, and you would be right. So I'm going to show you how I got the uh, the rezo bass. What I want it to be is a really low hum, even a, uh, kind of like a bass guitar, but not very obvious, just kind of in the background. So let's go again into the deeper edit here. We're going to immediately turn on chromatic. Okay, but now, um, and then we're also going to go to the uh, attack level. Actually, let's do that out here. I always find it easier just to do it on this one. You can do it on that other menu, but I, I always find it easier to do this one. Okay. Okay, we're gonna go back into it again. And there's our sound, but we're gonna go all the way down to this thing called TVF attack, uh, attack time. Now when I pull that up, you can see now it's just got a low rumble on it. Okay, now if I pull this all the way down. There you go. Back to the middle. A little bit up. So you can see how one sound can actually create multiple different tones within it. One more thing that I want to do is I don't want it to play on every single one of the strings, this sound. So I'm going to go up here to the string level and I'm going to adjust each, each one of these strings. I'm going to pull the first four, their volume down to zero. That way the only two strings that are playing are the top two, getting those bass notes. So now, here's the bottom four strings, one through four. And they don't sound, but the top two, the A and the E, do. It's got that really nice rumble. So let's go out here, turn on our pad sound, and see what that sounds like. This is what I love about the GR55 is, is the ability to play kind of an ambient background um, with your guitar.